You know, as we observe Stonehenge, it's quite unique. Because even when you read the scriptures of the Bible, mention is made that if man or mankind refuses to praise the Lord, he will rise up stones to give him praises. And in many cases, you may think that the stones may just get up and talk or sing songs to the Lord. But it's really speaking about the esoteric arrangement of these megalithic structures, which as I said earlier, provide a spiritual enhancement for a human being if they know how to connect with them. For example, the pyramids of Kemet in Giza. For example, Machu Picchu in Peru has always been a marvel for many individuals. Many people have looked at these monuments and structures and they always wonder, how is it that the primitive people had the ability to erect such a structure? But we must keep in mind that before this modern day time, our scientific advancement and understanding was way above where it is today. Although modern day technology has marveled a lot of us, but we're coming from an age where we could elevate the biggest or the heaviest of rocks, where we could have manipulated the diorite and manipulated the granite to specifically fit in slots and spaces where we desire them to fit. We must keep in mind that what we are looking at here is the pattern of the heavens. We're looking at the pattern of the astronomical clock. And this is why there, there is so much interest in Stonehenge and other similar monuments, again, very important because of the spiritual advancement that it can apply to a human being. It's not just there for good looks, it's there for your spiritual advancement. So even as we are here today, and as I said, the portals are open, we are feeding on the natural energy, not of England, but we are feeding up on the natural energy that has been set down for us thousands of years ago. These sites were sites of worship. These sites were sites of communication with the ether. Yes, they have become tourist sites, but their original purpose was for the connection of a human being with the heavens, the human being with the spiritual world, the connection of the human being with the gods. So we are all gods, and as a god, I'm honored and thankful to be close to a monument that my ancestors and myself in another time erected. Give thanks.